Hello, and uh, this time we're going to uh, do an assignment, which is a typical school assignment. Uh, so it says here, I've uh, written all this text for you, and um, yeah, so let's just take it from the, sorry, uh, red one, okay. So in this one it says, um, create an account class with the following private string name, private double balance, and create a constructor that can initialize both variables. Um, the class should contain the following methods. Um, so, yeah, methods. So we'll be dealing with methods and method calls in uh, this project, which is uh, which isn't so bad. Um, yeah, and let's see. It says public double get balance. These are the methods that should be in the project. Public void deposit double amount, public void withdraw double amount, public string get name. Now, um, for this double is uh, just like an integer, just a different type. It's, um, I can explain you now, just, uh, yeah. So double would be um, do like this, um, type of variable that can hold decimal numbers numbers number a yeah, decimal number yeah so what do you mean by that um it's just like uh, we have been dealing with the uh, integer types that can only hold whole numbers but this double and there's one more here this double um this one more here double these can also uh, contain decimal numbers so um they don't have to necessarily. Uh, so you can have, uh, yeah, right again. So you can have like um, twelve point nothing or point zero. Uh, I think the computer's happy with a, just a point um, dot. Yeah, twelve dot nothing. Um, so oh, it could be uh, any decimal numbers. I think there's a limit to how many uh, you could put at the end of it. I don't really know uh, for sure. But um, just like um, we have uh, had strings uh, that contains text and then we have integers that can only hold whole numbers. So the double we use for um, decimal numbers. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's just like a, a bit like an integer just that can also hold decimal numbers. So, but it doesn't have to. It could also be just twelve point but dot zero. Um, yeah. All right. So let's get further on with the uh, the assignment that we have. And uh, so, um, yeah. So there's in the methods, and uh, it says implement a two string uh, method. It's two string. So in the baby project, so it'll be a second project. This one in the baby project. So first project. I uh, showed you how to do the two string method and here it says nicely formatted which is they just wanted to look good uh, which we did with the baby project um, and it says move on implement a bank class that contains uh, a main and this is kind of interesting this is kind of the one of the reasons why it's good to read an assignment uh, from top to bottom before getting started because because I want to show you, there's a bit tricky some of these assignments um, because they want to uh, teach you how to uh, do it in the right order. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And how to, yeah, not just start from the beginning without having read it all through. Because in the beginning, it just say create an account class and it says nothing more. So if you just create now a, a project with an account class, it will create a main inside of this class. Because the first class created in a Java project contains the main. Um, so this is a kind of sneaky way of having us to uh, mess up right away. So if we, as good students would do, just read it from beginning to end before starting, then we would read, see that, um, understand that the bank class here should contain, contains a main. Um, all right. So if we start a project in the first, and I'll show you how we can actually 
call the project something else than the first class created because so far we've just named the first class um, the same as the project because we didn't change the name so um, so we, I'll show you how to do that and um, it says move on in the main create two account instances objects initialized with the following data so this is for um, from the baby project if we remember that we already have uh, created the um, account class because we need the account class to create the objects or instances created from the account class so uh, and it says initialized um, this initialized it just means that when we create the object we put in this information inside the um, it's a bit I, that I showed you, but we did the same in the baby class where we um, put the information that the baby object should have um, when we created the object. So this is what it says, that when we create the object, we give the information. It will be sent to the constructor and the object will be created like we specify. And the information should be these two. Do, I do like this. So Superman, 500 and Lex, 10,000. And this is, of course, uh, so it's the bank project. So this is, of course, that dollars probably um, and for the the last part um, it says withdraw 5000 from Lex's account and deposit it on Superman's account and this will be requires require that we do some um, method calls uh, which we haven't done so far I think um, so we will do that in this project and the very very last part is just print out the balances of both accounts and um, it's a bit interesting because it tells us to do a, a two string method um, but here in the end it just tells us to print out the, um, let me mark this one balances of both accounts it doesn't say that call the two string and get all the information from the two string name and balance just say balances so um, so we don't have to call the two string in this uh, case but maybe that is too uh, confusing yet which is okay because um, we are new to Java so um, yeah so let's see if we can sum it up and then bank project yeah um so I would say for the well, maybe we divide it um I don't know if it's too complicated to divide if you just got a, an assignment like this but uh, we could divide it um like like this uh and start with the top part um but we would also have to uh, remember to create a bank class that contains a main but for now we could just create an empty bank class that contains a main as first step and then as second step I can't go up now because I'm in the screen draw but as second step um, create the uh, account class I'm gonna text it uh, count class so so first step would be uh, it here first step would be uh, Create new project, obviously, and the bank class. First step, and then second step, the account class, so that we make sure that the main is inside of the uh, bank uh, class. And this, we, it's, it is possible to uh, to just copy paste the main into a different class, but um, let's deal with that another time. So for now, we just do it in this order. So. Um, yeah, so this should be enough for the uh, the introduction to this uh, project. And yeah, let's just stop the video and start the project in the, the next video. So bank project is what we're going to do. So see you in the next video.